Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Apollonia and I'm coming to you from Moscow, Russia. And our today, Tough Talk. Oh my God, it's about this guy who is all over the internet about what is talking about his uh, seven baby mamas and seven children. Oh my God, like this guy is all over the internet now. Everybody is talking about him. And I think he's actually very honest about what most men are about when it comes to having babies i mean like if you're not in a relationship having like like just having casual sex is actually dangerous and this guy actually shows us this guy actually tells us what's up and it's very brutal and i hope you're going to enjoy this video if you're new here welcome to my channel welcome to tough, welcome to tough talk today and i hope you're going to enjoy and let's listen what this guy has to tell us in the first clip Okay, let me try that, okay? I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yeah, not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion why do guys think that abortion is such an easy thing, by the way? Like, you know what? When I heard this guy talk about abortion, like, just, like, casually, like... Okay, I've never had abortion, yeah? But I have kids. Three. Three of them. I have three kids. And, uh, to be honest, unless my doctors told me, uh, listen, Apollonia, this child is so deformed, they cannot survive, they cannot live. For abortion, if it's just, you know, um, if, if it's a medical thing, you know, like, you know, like you cannot have this child, you need to abort it because, you know, it's not going to survive anyway. Or, you know, but just to have abortion like that because, oh, you had a child with the wrong person or you had a child with just a guy. For me, from what I believe is that uh, when a child is, when when actually you get pregnant, actually it's a good thing. Like it's a creation of life. It's beautiful. And sometimes the, the uh, what do you call the the environment sometimes does not matter. You don't have to have money to raise this child. You don't have to be ready for the child, you know. But they're there. You're pregnant. You have a healthy child inside you. I would keep this child. I will not actually abort a child like that. And the other, the other, the other side, uh, the men cannot actually know how actually it feels to be pregnant, how actually it feels to have a child with you in for nine months. That's why he's casually talking about, like, ah, I, I could have paid um, abo for abortion. Yeah, you could have paid, but you don't know how much you destroy a woman's body by aborting a child, by stopping creation, by changing hormones. When somebody gets pregnant, it hormones changes, and you know, hormones are working to others. And then you terminate that hormonal process that was already created, and then it creates a lot of turmoil and a lot of... Um, a lot of negative energy. I think. No, see, I would think because I've never aborted a child. I would think like, you know what? When you're pregnant, the first three months are so crucial because you know what? You're getting that child grounded. You're, you know, that child is adopted to the, to the body. And then, you know, there's this uh, morning sicknesses and stuff. And, you know, that's why you have very, um, very tough three, three months. Because, you know what? Your body has to create a safe place for you newborn or for your baby but when this guy is talking about about it that casually oh my god it's hard for it's so painful to be honest like these guys must must be a narcissist or something because you know what you cannot say these things when you're in your right mind when you're a human being when you have a soul you can't say these things anyway let's continue take a plan b but only these seven only this have seven. kept these children but the crazy thing about there? it is they in want the me to be responsible oh oh for some god. children so i told them I did not want guys. Uh, <laughs> I pity you if you're out there in the dating market, cause you know what? If you're dealing with guys like this, can you imagine how much is how many people these guys are slept with? The diseases is collected, and the diseases that he can bring you. How dangerous is to be around this guy? To be honest, and he's actually he had the guts to come online and tell people only these seven. How about the thousand? How many? Because this guy, like the way he's the way he's speaking, mm -hmm. this guy does not give a fuck 
what he sleeps with. This guy just sleeps with anything. And it, but no, seriously, like, oh my God, oh my God. I pity the women that had to m encounter this guy. Because, you know, most of them, they're not going to come like this. Like, you know, me, I don't like kids. No, they don't come like that. They come so sweet. Oh my God. And as I look at him, hmm, most women who might, might think, you know, he's a decent looking guy. When you look at him, you know, you'll be like, oh, it's so okay, guy, you know, why not? I can trust. You know, because sometimes us women, we actually look at the looks and we actually can trust from just looking at somebody. But, oh my God, this guy is dangerous. Can you imagine how many diseases he, this person can bring if he's just complaining about the seven that got pregnant? So how many? How many did he get pregnant? It is scary. So, <laughs> please guys understand us. Sometimes when we are like uh, black men, we don't know. We're not sure. Maybe try another race. Guys, give us a break. You see what? And this this is what is, you know, this is just one person who came out, uh, who, uh, who came out clearly online. Can you imagine the ones that are on the ground, like on the suburbs and wherever? There are so many that are not, you know, up to the internet. Now we have this example. So it's a scary fucking dating scene out here. So. Let's continue. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. Wow. Wow. <laughs> with some kids I do not want. Just the other day, I watched a video of uh, how black men, especially in the U.S., are dying alone in hospice hospitals or in, uh, you know, old age hospitals because there's nobody who's coming for them. I think most of them are like him, were, were like him when they were young. They just made babies and did not give a fuck where the babies went, where the mothers are, and they enjoyed life, enjoyed life until sickness catch up with them because some of them are smoking most of them are abusing drugs and whatever and most of them you know they are sleeping anyhow so they are catching all kinds of diseases everywhere and i think this is this is the root cause this is the root cause of you know what black black man not being able to take care of their family because if you have men like this in a society i mean everyone i got a message for the black man i'm a nurse assistant at a hospital i work on a stroke floor and I can't help but notice there's a lot of black men up there, nice looking, good job having uh, all kind of stuff, good looking men. And a lot of them have a stroke and can't move their left or right side and end up, I ask them, where's your wife? You know, and all, most of them say, hey, I was a player, you know, I didn't never, you know, want to get locked down to anybody, you know. And, and they're sitting up there in their 40s. 50s and ain't even got no wife they dependent on a stranger to wipe they ass and get them up in the chair and then they're gonna go to a nursing home don't have nobody to take care of them or come visit them or nothing what i'm saying is black men need to wise up you got a woman that love you that's loyal to you that take care of you that got your back marry that woman why why are you why are you angry when women are becoming masculine because these are the men they have to deal with most women have to deal with this kind of a man who get pregnant. Oh, honey, I'm pregnant. No, you're responsible for that. You, that's the, you know what? We did it together that night, but you know what? You're supposed to be responsible for your body. But when you did that night, you are connected. You are in love. You are, you know, because he created that environment. Yes, because most women will not accept sleeping with you unless you create some kind of environment. So you manipulate them. And that's why I don't believe him when he says that, oh, my God, oh, I did not, you know, I, I already told him, uh, I told them about about how I think about children before. No. If you tell a woman, mostly, if you tell a woman that, you know what, I don't want kids, I, I will not take care of them, you know what? They will actually hand you a condom. They will say, hey, here. Here is a condom. You know what? If you don't want kids, fine. Let's have fun. But you know what? Uh, if you don't want to have kids, yeah, I'm okay with that. 
but he he manipulated him man, and he's denying that he did not manipulate these women and i'm very sure he has to manipulate these women because you know what to get women is not easy because you know what sometimes uh, women have to play hard because they're the one who suffers when it comes to getting pregnant with the one who are actually suffering to bear that you know to have that child in our body for that child to change our body absolutely completely 180 degrees you start a child with this kind of body and then your body turns out 180 degrees when the child is born so we actually careful but when you have toxic men like this and the way he's speaking is not a careful guy this guy is a manipulator he he manipulated these women because even he manipulated these women to accept him because you do not tell you cannot tell women i have three baby mamas and they will sleep with you without condom they will be conscious so he didn't tell his truth when he was sleeping with this woman until he had a seventh baby mama. So this is a very dangerous, very dangerous guy. And you know what? Sometimes as women, you cannot, you cannot tell women, be careful. Because you know what? You will be lied to and you, you will be manipulated. And you know what? You don't know what you're putting your foot on. And then you realize, oh my God, I'm, I'm done like this. Motherfucker, you know, just cut me. And you know what? Being uh, some, some women being just nice people. We cannot abort. Like, can you imagine if you got a child with this guy? What do you do? Like, if I'll tell you if it was me. If I uh, was manipulated enough to actually sleep with him and have a child, I wouldn't abort. I'll just get that child and, you know, <laughs> raised by myself. Because, you know, that's what I have on the table. So, when women are deciding not to have children with black men, this is what is going on. And listen, this is only America. In Africa... We have guys who actually just deny, like, oh, well, no, no, that cannot be my child. You know what? You went, slept outside, and you know what? You're trying to put that child on me. I don't care. When I was young, my biggest fear was to sleep with a guy, get pregnant, and they denied. Like, that was, like, that was down, my biggest fear, and that's why I was always careful to who I slept with. I actually... I actually never dated, like, I never wanted to have to, I never wanted to have a boyfriend that goes home and then we meet. I wanted a boyfriend that we live together. And that's how my dating scene has been. When I get to a relationship, we're moving in. Because I want to know you as quick as possible. And if you're worth having children, then we, we can have children. And that's, that's how my relationship was before, you know. I moved in with the people that I dated and you know what? And that time, oh, and I'm not moving in just with a condom. No, I had a birth control. And having a birth control, you guys. Hmm. I hate when men take it lightly when women have birth controls because birth control is full of shit. Birth control is... I don't know what this thing... What, what contains in this shit? Because you know what? It cannot be good because the hormonal, hormonal uh, imbalances that comes with it. You know, look at this video. Okay, watch this video. I'm going to put a video here and please watch it and, you know, see for yourself. Yeah, birth control, God bless all the women out there taking that shit. Yeah, horrific what's for your body, dude. What's crazy, most people don't know, is most of the birth control drugs, the way they work, and they're able to essentially like pseudo castrate you at such a low dose, is they're derived from an anabolic steroid called nandrolone. You've heard of DECA, I'm sure. Yeah. If you look at one of the main drugs, for example, it's called levonorgestrel. And I bet if you've ever been with a chick who's taking the combined oral contraceptive pill, you look at the ingredient list, it'll be a progestin. Oftentimes, levonorgestrel is just a really popular, popular one and ethanol estradiol and that levonorgestrel is literally nandrolone tweaked and modified to make an orally bioavailable castration pill essentially so your girlfriend if she's on birth control is technically on gear whoa that's why she can do more push-ups than me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the net outcome of it is always going to be like less muscle building potential typically not always but it's because it's the goal of it is more shutting yourself down yeah. not pushing yourself up yeah 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 okay that's the birth control we're dealing with. Like what you're giving women. So dangerous. Like these birth controls, we cannot believe them. And then you have men like the one I showed you. That do not want to care. Like it's your responsibility for your womb. Which is okay, we agree. But oh my God. Women, we need to wake up.
but guys today my message was just about just let's let us be careful you know the people we want to reproduce with the people we sleep with without condoms or without protection because this is not what you want you don't want this guy in your life to be honest you do not want this guy in your life okay this was one just one part of his talk let's hear the second part of his talk because this guy went on you know talking about how you know how he didn't even know about vasectomy because you know what if a, if a guy has problem with uh just just sleeping around and having babies left right center you'd think like you know vasectomy might help but this is what he had to say about his vasectomy like or even having like this is what he had to say about having vasectomy I honestly just learned what a vasectomy was three days ago when I started speaking on this shit. But when I figure out what that is, I'm not doing that shit. Then they ask him, why not wear a condom? I have worn protection a lot of time. These are just the instance when I have not. And unfortunately, it has resulted into the woman being pregnant. But ask yourself and ask your friends as a woman, when is the last time that you told a man to put on a condom? Because I have never in my 27 years heard a woman request me to put a condom on this tells you how this guy how narcissistic this guy is you know what a narcissist narcissist men don't care they don't they're not even afraid of their disease these guys don't know how to protect themselves they don't love they cannot love they cannot love they use that's why you say like in in his his whole sexual life he has never had a woman because he never initiated like you know what if you be careful about disease there's a lot of diseases you guys is hiv there's you know there's uh, what do you call gonorrhea there's i don't know syphilis and whatever as an adult you should know that and you, you're supposed to protect this. so this guy did not even care protecting himself he was just having women and women and women he did not protect himself so this guy <sighs> This guy don't care if he gets anything or he gives it to you. So I think it's our job, us as women, to just be careful. Let's be careful with the man you're going with. And I would prefer maybe you have a, a what do you call, an implant or a birth control before you engage with a guy. Because you don't want to end up with such a man as a father of your children. Oh my God, that, that's hurtful. Like, can you imagine having children with this motherfucker? Like, this guy will even if you're not with them they will destroy your life you're gonna be a miserable person because you know what they will try to kind of poke you once in a while this is not a healthy guy okay finally let's listen to uh this girl uh, some advice from a girl who maybe has gone through something like this let's hear this you're trying to tell women all the time <clears throat> a motherfucker will be with you and don't like anything about you they will literally be with you just to reap the benefits that you give them I have recently talked to one of my homeboys and he just keep on cheating on his girl. And I literally told him why you can't leave her so that she can go find something that she deserves. Meanwhile, you need to be single and not be in a relationship. And he told me that why would he do that when he is reaping all of the benefits that she's giving him and she ain't going nowhere. He keeps cheating. She keeps taking him back. So he feels like, well, I got it good where I'm at. Why would I even leave this situation to go? Wow. That is very true, by the way. So, guys, thank you so much for today's video. I hope, you know, you you learned something. Today is women, Women's Day. What is the time now? Oh, 12.27. Happy Women's Day. And I'm wishing you, you know, amazing uh, time as women. I'm wishing you love. I'm wishing you, you know, uh, for your children to prosper. I'm wishing you as women to prosper too, for your businesses to prosper, for your channels to prosper. So subscribe before to help me prosper in my channel. So you guys, uh, I'm so happy and thank you so much for, you know, being here today. And please comment down below and tell me how do you think, how do you think about uh, uh, today's video and uh, what is your opinion? What do you think is the best thing as women we should do, you know? So yeah, I'll see you in the next video and paka paka.